The sensations that we feel don't have to be what we think. They can be what they are. And you can attribute whatever words or connotations you want on any sensation. You know? You can say, you know what? There's a feeling within me, but this is not necessarily a hunger feeling. Maybe this is something, you know, that I don't even know about. Maybe this is, for me, it was toxicity moving in the body. And I thought that it was hunger. I thought, oh, I need to eat something. Oh, it's gurgling. Oh my gosh. You know, I must be hungry. But that wasn't my body telling me, oh, it's hungry. It needs more. It was actually sending another sensation. So attributing different traits and characteristics to the things that we define or the things for years that we've defined as something, you can always reframe it and change it. It doesn't have to be necessarily what you used to think it was. And when you kind of change what you think in your mind, you change what you think, what you feel in your body. Whoa, 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 whoa.